Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be decluttering some of my highlighters. We're going to be going through my entire collection and figuring out what I want to keep and what I want to declutter. This is most of my highlighters other than the ones that I have like in palettes or on my makeup area, but those were all ones that I'm going to keep. So this is like my drawer of highlighters and apparent... Oh, I guess this is a highlighter. Okay, this is my organizer that has most of my highlighters not all of them we have a picture of me as a kid which is just randomly there i think i'm just gonna dump everything out and we'll go from there hopefully nothing broke i'm for sure keeping this one because the packaging is so cute it's the color pop um like meg big tough girl like highlighter it's like a purpley sort of deal it's nothing like insane but the packaging alone is why I want to keep it um I'm keeping all of my Disney villain ones they're just too pretty not to even though the Maleficent one is like a, almost too dark for me I still want to keep it the Ursula one is just another purple one it's a bit sheer than what I like but again it's the packaging the packaging just speaks to me so and Cruella is like my favorite Disney villain so of course I have to keep it plus this is just stunning it's like a peachy type of duochrome sparkly moment it is so pretty this is probably my favorite from that whole collection if I'm being honest and then I have more of my Sailor Moon collection for some reason this drawer I just put a ton of stuff in it I'm keeping my super shock highlighters even my broken one which is spellbound but spellbound is one of my favorites so i'm keeping stole the show and that i then have this sailor moon highlighter which it's official and it looks like that and then the packaging just has sailor moon on it and i don't oh that is pretty why haven't okay that is gorgeous why haven't i used that jesus oh i'm putting that on right now yep okay this is going on my vanity for sure yeah so this is special this is a really good one i'm keeping that with me for the moment like no way i'm not going to oh this um wet and wild hello halo blush and highlighter duo so gorgeous the highlighter is like so so pretty and intense and it's just gorgeous and then the blush too it's like a very peachy like shimmery type blush but it's very beautiful so definitely keeping that as well i'm keeping this because of the packaging if i'm being honest because i probably spent way too much on this to sell it Plus, I mean, it is pretty. It's like one of these, like, pink sort of duochrome highlighters. Like, it's a little bit, like, it's not intense enough for me. I'm someone who likes really intense, bold highlighters, and this isn't it. But it's still very, very pretty. So I will keep it and probably display it. I'm keeping my Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter because it's really pretty and it's like ooh, like it just leaves like a wet glow and it's just really really pretty I don't use it enough but it's gorgeous and I want to keep it I'm gonna keep my wet and wild mermaid highlighter because I spent way too much time trying to get a hold of this to just get rid of it even though like I definitely don't need it <laughs> but I don't know maybe I should declutter it like I'm never gonna use it am I hold on let me see maybe I will I just need something with a mirror please thank you uh, let me see uh, like I have highlighters like this elsewhere so let me see it's cute but it's not needed so um, I think I think I am gonna declutter this wet and wild highlighter so there we go the first declutter so far i'm not doing great but i didn't expect that i would to be fair um because i like 
all my highlighters. Uh, let me see. Ooh, I'm keeping this one. It's a loose highlighter, which not my thing, but like, can you see how gorgeous the reflex are there? Like, hello. It's so, so pretty. Uh, let's see. Oh my god. Like, I don't know how well you guys can see how crazy it is, but it's intense and I love it. So keeping that, keeping ColourPop Dream Sequence too. I love their Super Shock formulas. So keeping that, I'm keeping my Dream Glow Kit by ABH because this is one of my favorite palettes. I've hit pan on Unicorn because of how much I use it. I love these. They're the intense type of highlighters that I'm in love with. So these are always going to stay. Now the other, I had both of the other ABH highlighters and they're not my favorite. Uh, to be honest, they're more, they're more subtle than what I use other than the shade Luna. Luna's pretty intense, which I love, but I still keep it because it's cute and it was on sale when I got it. So it's not like I paid full price. One of my favorite highlighter formulas is from... Marilia Scott Cosmetics. This is the Your Highlight is Too Bright palette. And like, hello, these are so good. I love her so much. Marilia is just such a sweetheart. And when she sent me this palette, I was like, I was so excited. I can't wait for her to come out with more stuff. I'm so excited. But these are so freaking good. Like, they're so glowy, so fun. Like, they're just up my alley so much and I like that they're colorful so like if you want like a yellowy glow like a peachy glow a pink glow a purpley glow a blue glow a green glow like you kind of have all your bases so that is one that I'm going to keep forever now I have this Rach Loves Pixie palette and I'm going to be honest I don't I think the only reason I've been keeping it is ooh, that is really pretty Ooh, that's cute. Let's see this one. That's cute. Okay, what if I blend them? See, like, usually I prefer more glittery type of highlighter, but this it just, like, blends into the skin so well and gives a beautiful, natural type of sheen, so... And I can, like, easily mix these with glittery highlighters. I'm keeping this. It's way too nice to declutter at the moment. I will declutter these i think these nikki tutorials ofra highlighters i love them like they're very pretty but i don't need them i have these colors everywhere and i'm sure i have some friends who will use them a bit more this is like a pinky duochrome and then this one is like a bluey duochrome again it's really pretty but it's just it's not for me so i'll declutter those um, let me see this Milk Makeup Holographic Highlighter. Like, I feel like I should keep this for, like, when I do, like, Euphoria makeup and stuff. Because I feel like it's good for that. But besides that, like, for certain looks, that's the only reason why I'm going to keep it. My other highlighter that I love from Maybelline fell behind my vanity. So since I'm going to be moving, hopefully I can grab it from behind there. Because... These are just so pretty and so glittery. This is the purple holographic one. It's just super glittery and fun and I'm in love with it. Let me see this master chrome. That is insane. I hardly put my finger in there. Um, okay, let's... That is insane. That's an insane glow. Let me... Let me try this. There's... I'm looking for Mia, please. <gasps> Ugh. Hold on, I almost got it. Let me see. Uh, I'm like running out of places to like try. Ooh, that's a pretty highlighter though. Okay, I'll keep this Maybelline one as well because it's pretty. Oh, I'm keeping the, the Pixie ones for sure. These are also very like intense type of glows. This one's too dark for me because yo girl is very pale, but the other one works, so that's why I keep it but then we have this sugar glow kit which I do love it's not my favorite anymore I used to use this quite a bit actually but 
not really recently. I think it's because most of the shades are like borderline too dark. Ooh, but that one is really pretty. Gumdrop is pretty. I mean, so is Starburst. Like, they're pretty. I think the only shade that's too dark for me is Butterscotch, but I feel like I can probably mix them, so I will keep that one as well. Um, let me see. This one's really pretty, but I... Ooh, that's pretty. Hold on. Let me see. But, like, what am I going to use, like, a blue highlighter that color? But, like, what if I need one and I don't have one and then I just cry forever? Mm. I mean, I think if I'm... Ugh, I don't know. I should... Let me see. This one I'll... Pr mm, this one's pretty, though. But I think I have that elsewhere, so I will declutter this one and I'll keep this one. There. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Um, this skull highlighter is too subtle for me. This one I'll for sure declutter, even though it took me ages to get my hands on it, but it's fine. I'll declutter this wet and wild one. And I think we're done for highlighters, which is kind of depressing because I didn't even, I didn't declutter that much, did I y'all? Okay. So here's what I decided to declutter. I decluttered one two, three, four. Now, for me, that's pretty good, you guys. Like, considering I like all of my highlighters, so that's not bad. <laughs> You're wondering what organizers I use. I just bought these from Walmart, to be honest. They're like drawer organizers. Over there is where I have two of them set up. That's how I organize some of my stuff. I prefer using like organizers like eyeshadow palette organizers and stuff when I can I usually use the ones from by allegory you can get them off of Amazon but yeah just in case you guys were curious what I used to organize thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed apologies for not decluttering that much but honestly I'm not gonna declutter stuff that I want to keep so thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you subscribe comment down below any videos you'd like to see me do go follow my Instagram and TikTok make it by Tasha XO and I'll see you in the next video Bye.